you might be very strong with the expect of dsa and computer fundamentals but if you are not able to deliver like how interested are you in working with them then mm-hmm. it's all kind of a waste i believe so currently i'm working with adobe as a software development engineer and uh, previously i was working with atel as you mentioned Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today I am going to talk to Ravinder and we are going to talk to him about an interview experience of a company which is pretty well known in the mobile network industry. So I'm going to talk to him about the interview experience at Airtel and uh, let's see how his interview went and how he actually gave the interview how many rounds were there and what all the rounds were so we're going to brief every round up for you so hi ravinder how are you doing hey kabir doing great man how are you i'm doing great i'm doing great so ravinder before we start and we dive into the interview experience for airtel can you give us a small introduction about yourself so that we can move forward oh uh, yeah sure so you have already told my name i'm ravinder chaudhary and uh, currently i'm working with adobe as a software development engineer and uh, previously i was working with atel as you mentioned and uh, yeah i am a 21 graduate so having an experience of nearly 1.5 years before That's that great. in my college days i interned with cdac with coding ninjas as well and i was a part of placement team as well that's great so how was the airtel interview experience ravinder like when i talk about the rounds how many rounds were there actually so in total there were four rounds like first one was a online assessment round and the other three were like interview rounds conducted over a video conferencing app okay that's great so when we talk about these four rounds was there any other shortlisting round before this or you started with the coding round directly no no the organization asked to fill us the uh, you know expression of interest like mm-hmm. who all are interested and all these students were invited for appearing in the online test okay and when we talk about the online test how was that for you like that's the first round so how many questions were asked and how long did it go for so the test was like 90 minutes long and mm-hmm. there were two questions that we had to code and apart mm-hmm. from that there were like 30 mcqs on aptitude and you know computer fundamentals as well okay. and to be very honest like most of the students were able to do the coding questions the two questions that i mentioned but the 30 aptitude questions they played more of a you know important role in uh, shortlisting like who all will be interviewed okay correct and when we talk about the difficulty of these questions when you talk about the coding questions when you talk about the aptitude for you specifically or talking about somebody who's actually coding over lead code or code studio very actively was it easy medium or hard when you talk about the difficulty level so like there were two questions like one was easy and one was medium and okay. if someone is having a good practice of data structures then i believe they would be able to solve it okay. just a small thing that i would like to mention here is like you know before appearing in any organization not just atel like any organizations students should always go out and check interview experiences so mm-hmm. that basically tells them what questions the organization asked in previous assessments right and that happened in my case as well like there were two questions and one of them was the same one that i checked like day before the assessment okay that's great again guys similarly the way ravinder said that you can check out the interview experience if you want to check out his interview experience for uh, atel as a article you want to read it out you want to solve the questions which he solved in that uh, interview i'll give the link in the description below because he has written an article on the website as well so moving forward talking about the second round what was there in the second round this process was conducted in uh, 20 20 yeah during the covid times so at okay. that time most of the organizations did this so the first interview round was just a dsa round okay so same happened in atel's case as well like there was a interview just one and uh, i was given two coding questions and i was asked to code them with mm-hmm. my camera on okay so was it like a little hard for you to do that or did you find it easy how was it as i mentioned like this round just had two coding questions that's it no mm-hmm. fundamentals no debugging nothing else mm-hmm. so out of those two like when i remember one of the question i did in the course that i took from coding ninja as well okay. so yeah i was uh, pretty you know confident about it and the second question was new to me so i would say like the round was more of a you know medium level mm-hmm. okay the round was medium but anybody who hasn't solved the first question as well would you rate it hard for them or again medium only no no medium only 
Okay. And uh, how long did this round go for? It uh, went for like 50 minutes and last 10 minutes they gave me for, you know, asking questions and all. Okay. So you have 50 minutes to solve two questions for them. Right. Okay. Finally, moving forward to the third round, what happened in that? Third round, I am not very sure like who took the third round. Mm-hmm. but uh, it was more focused on my projects and my internship experiences uh-huh. and there was no discussion around dsa in that particular round mm-hmm. okay no discussion of dsa so can we call it a managerial kind of a round yeah i mean i guess we can yeah okay and how long did that go for it went for like almost 35 minutes i guess and after that mm-hmm. same thing like 5 10 minutes for questions okay 5 10 minutes of questions so just a doubt that every round you get 10 15 minutes to you know ask questions to the people what do you actually ask in that i have like read this at several places and i personally believe this you know very much like interview process is not just the selection process from the organization end whether they want to hire you or not it is a selection process from your end as well whether you want to work with that organization or not mm-hmm. so i usually ask questions like what is it that motivates you to work with this organization i mean i always check out the linkedin profile of my interviewer first so that i can get an idea like for how long have they been working with this organization right. i ask about the team i ask about you know what tech stack they are using and what expectations they have from you know someone of my experience level hmm. so these are like a you know few like major questions that i always ask my interviewer okay that's great and finally when you came to the final round last round what happened in that it was a very short round i mean you can call it an hr round okay so when i shared my you know experience with him he also mm-hmm. focused on my project he took one project of mine and he associated with uh, some real life examples and he mm-hmm. asked me questions based on that okay. so that i was able to answer because i personally worked on that project okay. but what major part of that last round was like they wanted to see how much interested i am particularly in uh, you know their organization because i believe this is true from their respect as well that they don't want uh, you know to waste time on some candidate who is just uh, trying to collect the offer letters so this right. is very important basically like you might be very strong with the expect of dsa and computer fundamentals but if you are not able to deliver like how interested are you in working with them then mm-hmm. it's all kind of a waste i believe so yeah right. that round majorly focus like whether i am actually interested genuinely interested in working with them or not okay So that was really nice I guess that was a pretty smooth interview experience out there but when I talk about ending our interview experience I want to conclude this with a final question so I want you to tell our students or the juniors or the viewers of this video any tips or tricks that you have or any mistakes that you made and you don't want them to make while sitting for interviews or preparing for interviews so first of all i want to mention that this you know interview process was conducted for a campus placement so mm-hmm. off campus interview rounds may vary their you know structure may vary mm-hmm. but on campus since the organizations have to close the entire drive in just one day this is okay. usually the process they follow okay. now as for the tips and tricks i believe like all you have to be is confident about what you know if you don't know anything if you don't know the answer of a particular question instead of you know just trying to make fool out of yourself because they are aware of you know they have worked on things just for an example like the interviewer asked me about what is like tcp ip layer and if mm-hmm. i'm not aware of it then i should just say like i don't know what it is i have not worked on that but like let's say os is my strong you know area and i have worked on os pretty well so if you want mm-hmm. to ask me about that i can maybe share my knowledge with you Correct. so you know instead of trying to make them fool you should just admit that you are aware of this topic or you are not aware of the, this topic okay. and move ahead okay so this is one of the things second i believe like always ask questions you are given time to ask questions and there is a reason behind that so always ask questions because that is how you are going to get an idea about your role and mm-hmm. uh, you know in case you get multiple offers in future the okay. answers to those questions is going to help you to decide which company you actually want to join Correct. So these are the two things I would uh, you know like to share. That's great. That's great. And I really thank you Ravinder for giving us such a great interview experience for Airtel. And I hope the people watching this video would be taking this in handy while they sit for placements like this. And guys also again if you want to read this out, you want to solve the questions that he got in his interview, you can read the description, you'll get a link wherein you can go and have the article. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you Ravinder for coming up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy coding.